All right, and welcome back to my let's play of Risen 3 here on my channel, Idle Wisdom. We are here again on Tyrannus, the island of the exiled mages. Last episode, our mate and his crew took care of a little bit of business on Kila, and then sailed here to the last of the major faction islands, Tyrannus, where the mages live. And it seems uh, pretty cool. Last time we just sort of explored around the harbor and did a little bit of work helping them. We saw that there's a bunch of gnomes working here as dock workers. There's a bunch of rats here. Hello, rat. Hey, hey mate. And that's the harbor master. And there's the mage's ship, which is pretty cool. And we took care of some thieves and our, night, our mate here had a nightmare. <laughs> And what have you. And we're t taking, um, what's his face along now? What's his, um, Horus. Let's just see what's over here right quick. Oh, there's a duck. Ah, there's a transporter. Or a teleporter. Transporter. All right. All right. Have you noticed in, like, fantasy settings this sort of thing is always called it like a teleporter or something like that or a portal or a but it's like a t it's gonna be called a, a tran a teleporter whereas if it's sci-fi it's gonna be called a transporter as though calling it a transporter makes it any less ridiculous uh oh what's this is it like a a lightning rod? Ooh, wow. Wonder what that's all about. That's pretty cool. Nothing, nothing. These there. stones are a real work of art. Just don't get up to any fun. Things. I'm not planning to knock them over. <laughs> Not planning to knock them over and take their lunch money. <laughs> A real book of art. Hmm. It definitely does seem like what to call it. Tyrannus is more art inspired. Like there at the on the harbor, there was a bunch of obelisks. We'll look at them again when we because I think we're gonna go over to that. Um, we're gonna go over to where that one guardian, the guy who said he could take us over to the mages. Yeah, 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 shut up, chickens. I just wanna see this thing. Is it getting electrocuted? Yeah, shut up. Hmm. Will it hurt us if we go close to it? Doesn't look like it. If we just go close to it, I don't know if the lightning strike will do anything to us. Yeah, shut up. Whoa. And yeah, let's just go. Oh, geez. I I don't remember how to play. <laughs> I was just trying to explore. Oh well. Scavenger is a scavenger lass. They're like, well, we were just enjoying ourselves. I wasn't doing anything to you. But now I'm gonna get some chicken. Oh yeah. No, no, no. It's fine, fine, fine. Just chill. Yeah, see? Calm down. Just calm down. Maybe they saw what happened to their mate, to their buddy. They're like, okay, um, hey, bygones can be bygones if you just leave us alone. Ooh, oh, there's one of those absolute, total freaking, what do you call it? <laughs> Overconfident nice sand devils. Moves nice moves there. A sensor. Come 
on, can you get the... A sensor. Very good. Got a clam. Whoop-de-doo. <laughs> a watering hole. Looks like someone was collecting salt water here. Huh. Weird. Interesting. Oh, there's a bunch of clams to collect. Let's just take a look at the beach, right? Right quick. Starfish. Chicken. I will pluck you and eat you if you don't shut up. I won't eat you. <laughs> Only good beasts are dead beasts. I don't know about that. I mean... There. You know how to handle yourself. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess. Don't say too many weird things around me, all right? These foul creatures really are everywhere. Ah. Ooh. Done. The beast is dead. Um, you have a very good grasp of the obvious there, mate. I do indeed. Here I come. Sinful Ooh. and sorrowful. Oh, that'd be fair I stand, never mind. <laughs> uh oh. What's this? What's this? Is this a cave? Ooh, weird. Ooh, what's back here? What are you? Oh, that's an armadillo. Never mind. Hey, Ratty. Hey, armadillo. What's y'all blokes up to? Oh, nothing much, mate. Oh, weird. I bet you there's lots of crystals in caves or something here. I mean, otherwise, why would the mages settle here, right? I mean, I guess they could have settled here because they had no other choice. Is something going to jump out and scare me? I just have this feeling that something's going to jump out and scare me. Here I come. Oh, it's goblins. Ooh, two with one blow. You should have fled when you had the chance. Indeed. Oh, there must be a... Yep. Ooh, raw fish. There must be a mission to clear this goblin mine of goblins. To clear this goblin of mines. Because it's like giving us a count. You know how to handle yourself. Bullets, gold, magic crystals. Alrighty. There's all sorts of stuff in here. Bag of gold. Crystal vein. Hmm. <laughs> we'll come back later for that. Maybe. I don't know. Campfire. Let's cook our chicken. Now, here's the thing, right? Fish. They buy them there on, uh... Calador. But I don't think they give you more than... I think they give you like 10 or 13 money. Something like, something small. They give you less money for the fish than you have to pay for rations. So I don't think it's worth it. So I'm going to just cook these fish. After, I mean, we, had the, we needed 10 of them to give to that one demon hunter. And he gave those to... What's his face? That smith. I don't remember what his name is off the top of my head. Wilson. Oop, let's open this. But after that, I think it's just basically a, a waste. Unless there's something that I'm not knowing. Which there probably is. 
fish, and rum. Nice. Got some rum. Uh, a bunch of flies. That means there's probably a dead bodies in here. Alright. Huh. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't... I, I totally was... Being a tourist. Oh, my goodness, mate. Are you okay? How do I get out of here? No, no, no. Get... Mate, you got totally thrown for a loop. Boy. Well, there went all those rations we just got. Dang blast. I totally... <laughs> I totally paused. Dang blast it. That sucked. Got some gold and some iron ore, which we need for blacksmithing. A mushroom. Cheese. Anything else here? I totally walked into that too. A broom. I saw it. And I kept going because I don't know. Stupid. So basically this place is booby trapped. So careful. It's a really obvious booby trap too. I guess it makes me a booby. Indeed. Ironically, that goblin was telling the other goblins to be quiet so that we wouldn't, they wouldn't be heard. But, you know, then our mate heard. Where, where? Calm down, calm down. That's all of them. It's like when, you know, people are trying to... You know, there's a baby that's sleeping and people aggressively shh at people to tell them to be quiet. But in so doing, they manage to wake up the baby. <laughs> Anything else? No? Alright. This kind of reminds me, this area kind of reminds me of Arcania. Uh oh, is that a termite? Oh wow, is it warning me? Huh, that's interesting. These foul creatures really are everywhere. That's kind of interesting. Interesting. You know how to handle yourself. Ah, uh, thanks. Sickle. Bunch of I know go wait. Alrighty. Sickles and Iron veins. We'll come back to this mine to mine. Oh, man. I wonder if this is... Oh, jeez. Right there. The warrior. <laughs> Yeah, I'd say so. Good job, mate. Fire flower. No, I think I hear him. I hear him. Together we can do it. It's just a couple of goblins, mate. <clears throat> Nothing to get too worried Nicely about. Goblins done. had a great These mine here. Really now we could actually mine the resources. <laughs> Jeez Louise, mate, you're gonna dull your sword, slam me- Oh my goodness, go away. You want me to go away? You'll find yourself quite lonely. What? That's a weird thing to say. What I mean to say is... Yes, yes, I get it. Let's see. More crystals. Grog. Watering hole. It looks like 
Like someone here has diverted the water from the waterfall. Okay. Huh. I wonder if that is some... Tied up with some quest. Because that's two watering holes. That we found. But, you know, maybe we'll find the mission that actually makes those make sense. Because we don't have it now. Meow. Alright, well that was kind of interesting. Oh, there's some grog. Raw fish. Nope. Man. Dude. Spirit mushroom. Alright. Ah, a fish rack. Nice. More fish. Roast stack. Got more provisions. Very good. Let's get out of here. Nope, nothing there. Up oh, more grog. Wine. I like how grog is a drink, but wine is a provision. <laughs> I don't know what the thinking on that was. Maybe it's like, you know, grog's a drink, you know, but wine's just like grape juice, you know, that's food. Is it food? A dead gnome? Aw. Oh, here's another trap. Let's see if I can get past this. Very good. Good job, mate. Oh, this gnome was killed by that trap, I bet you. Poor guy. Not even a comment on that, mate? Come on, homie. That's not nice. <laughs> Homie, coldly walk over a body of dead gnome. Hmm. Well, interesting. Interesting. We clean that out. One way or the other. Okay, yes. Armadillo, armadillo. There's this stupid bird that's going to get itself killed with its big mouth. Yeah, go away. Oh, for crap's sake. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> they're foul creatures, huh? <laughs> Indeed. Well, they're gonna be dead as foul creatures. Well, you know what? No one told you to do that. Let that be a lesson to you, duck. Don't cop an attitude. Duck's like, um... Whatever. Oh, look, these right here. These obelisks. These obelisks. Look at them. They're kind of cool. I didn't notice them last time. Pretty tight. All right, let's go up to where that. Um. What are they called? Uh, guardian. Where he is. He said he would lead us to the mages. He said he's the guy who d takes care of new recruits. So I don't, I don't know if we're gonna join the mages, but. Definitely want to see what they're up to. I mean, we might join the mages, but, you know. It's almost time that we need to make a choice on our faction. Let's, let's look over here right quick. Anything over here? Yeah, well, whatever. Let's go to the mages. Take me to the mages. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. <laughs> All crystals right. grow everywhere in Tyrannus. Magic crystals. We insert them in artifacts and cast powerful spells with them. You don't say. Stay right behind me. Okay. 
Oh, while we're here, maybe we'll find a few crystals in the cave. Is it safe? I've been in there before, but you know how it is with beasts. Sometimes they come back. You got it! You so, got it! Should we risk taking a look? <laughs> sure. Let's search the cave. I can already hear the monsters. Let's go. Monsters? I can already hear the monsters. Can you already hear the monsters, pal? These foul creatures really are Oh, okay, hey, bat. <laughs> Oh, did I? The beasts don't learn. Yeah, I could have told you that. Um, told me what? Hold on. Oh, well, this is it. This is a good one. Wow. Okay. Oh, give me a break. <laughs> that was a little easy. A sawn off. A sawn off shotgun. Hand on the pump. Sipping on some cheap liquor. <laughs> Smoking some alchemist liquor. No. Smoking some blood root. Alchemist liquor. Ta Magic crystals. Rune skin. Oh wow, that's cool. Hmm. Wow. That was a good chest. Just follow me. Um, hold on. Keep your shirt tails tucked in. We gotta, you know, waste not, want less, as the narrator always says, very pedantically. Oh, it's a rat, not a bat. Yeah, mate, I'm not no bat. I'm a friendly neighborhood rat. Yeah. Well, I just Stay right behind me. All right, that's it. I'm done here. Let's move on. All right. Sure. You done here? There's another rat. Okay, anything else? Oh, there's a mushroom. I'm done here. Let's move on. Hey, where are you? Oh, Follow there me. he is. All right. There are two paths to the camp. The way up through the cave above is shorter, but you don't see as much of the island. The way through the valley below is a little longer. I'll, I'll leave the decision up to you. And... Let's do the longer path. Let's take the longer path through the valley. All right. Further into the back country. Ooh, there's a pig. Might as well see the sights while we're here. We'll go through the cave on our own, apparently, uh, at some time. Beautiful view, isn't it? I'm not here for the view. Oh, mate. Well, come along. Be careful now, there might be especially nasty creatures running around here as well. Here <laughs> especially nasty, huh? Such an overgrown chicken with a bad attitude. It does have a mean kick, though. The battle has been settled. Has it been settled? <laughs> hold on, gotta get me chicken. Just follow me. Yeah, hold on a second. Wait Stay up a right tick. Stay right behind me. Hello, duck. Yeah, mate, yeah, the, the views are nice, so quit being so... You know, I'm not here for the I views, I'm going. way too cool. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, ah. <laughs> Dude's got his butt kicked. Beast is dead. Indeed. And Baker got his butt kicked. 
More like he got his face kicked. Oh, oh, never mind. It's just up this path. Good. Let's keep moving. And I almost forgot. When you're with the mages, make sure you have a look at the reactor. It's really a sight to behold. That wasn't very long at all. This game again, with it's like it's a real long way. It's like right Follow there. Me. Yes, yes, we're coming. That's oh, a nice villa. Okay, dokey. Here's the major. Oh wow, this is not what I was expecting. To be honest, I don't know what I was expecting, but I didn't think it would look like this. Sounds familiar. What the music? The soundtrack. Here we are. Welcome to the camp. Have a look around. I just have to check something. I'll see you later. All right. All right, Ventranio. The laundry isn't done yet. Come again later. Laundry? What laundry? The Guardian's laundry. Someone has to do it. And I suppose that someone is you. For some reason, I imagine my life as a cadet to be very different. As a Guardian, you'll be throwing fireballs all the time, they said. But the only fire I get to see is the one under the cooking pot. <laughs> see the whipping boy around here. Tell me more about the Guardians. We are the long arm of the mages, so to speak. All new recruits begin their service as a simple cadet. The boys, who have served for a while, will be appointed as guardians. And only Magnus, our general, outranks them. I understand. Huh. So, you're the whipping boy around here. Yes. I mean, no. Well, for now. But later... Yeah, yeah. Big plans. I get it. If I didn't have my dreams, what would I have left? Laundry. Ah, <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> Ever considered running away? Nope. I'd never consider it. Eventually, someone will come and take over my post. But for now, it would be helpful enough if someone could sweep the warehouse for me. Hey, you're still new. Don't you want to take on the job? Uh, sure, we'll help him out. No, I never saw myself ending up as a cleaning lady. <laughs> Watch this, I'll see. Yes. Sure, I'll sweep the warehouse. But, uh... <laughs> I'll say it again. All right, listen. How about I find someone to sweep the warehouse for you? That works too. But take this broom with you. Can't do the job without the proper tools. Where should I find your replacement for the warehouse? That won't be easy at all. Surely none of the Guardians would want to do it. And asking the mages would cost you your head. <laughs> it would probably be easiest to find somebody who has recently lost his job. Keep your eyes open. So, did you bring fresh meat? How's it going at the harbor? I've got everything under control down there, but I heard it's total chaos up here. Did you just come up here to get on my tits? That depends. Have you got my rum? Of course. It's all there. Lovely. Then I'll be on my way. Oh, wow. They're, they're, they're a pleasant batch. Let's so, see. did you have a look around the mage camp? That's right. Impressive, no? Personally, I find there's nothing better than being a guardian. You should think about joining us. Alright. Well, we'll look around again some more. We didn't really get a real look. Who are you? Paula. <gasps> You'll mess up the whole floor. Wow, she looks different. Most of these people, well, the women in this game, with except for Patty, all look the same. Uh. It's just a bit of dirt. For you, it's just a bit of dirt. But for me, it's another whole hour of scrubbing. I've already told Torbert a million times. I don't care how the other houses here look. When someone comes into my house, their shoes stay outside. What's Talbot up to? He's a waster, that's all. A he waster. just hangs around outside all day, instead of helping me in the house. Why do you have such a problem with dirt? Why? Because of the vermin, of course. Well, we already have rats in our house. There's a constant scratching and rasping sound behind the house. 
The noise is driving me crazy. And Talbot, that damn slacker, said it was normal. I could take a look if you like. I'd be extremely grateful if you could find out what it is. I'll see if I can find a little reward for you. Men, always the same problem. You call them to dinner and they don't come. Uh, sure. A loud armadillo. <laughs> Um, why, why are you making so much noise? Can we tell her it's a loud armadillo? Mind that you take off your shoes before stepping inside. No, wait, okay. Okay, let's see. Can I actually do that? Let's see if we can do that. Mind that you take off your shoes before stepping inside. Nope, that's all we can do. Tyrannus Volume, volume 2. No, uh, no, we'll do this later. <laughs> hmm. It doesn't matter. Let's put our shoes back. No, 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 no. Let's put our shoes back on. Guardian. Is there a problem? Uh, no. Talbot. What is it? I'm working. What brings you here? I make sure everyone is where they should be. Oh, come on. We all know you do all the shit jobs that no one else wants to do. Ah. You keep out of it. It still amazes me to this day why they ever took you on. I'm the one who keeps things ticking over here. All right, and now tell me, who is really in charge here? Uh, you mean General Magnus, I suppose. Most of the time he's over in the square outside the Great Hall of the Mages. Good. Carry on. <laughs> uh, yes, I still have lots to do. Hmm, do you think he might be someone to sweep the... sweep the warehouse? I think probably so. Let's just take all this. Let's see if we get in trouble. No, we didn't get in trouble. Good. I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled. I'm gonna keep my eyes. No, maybe not. Hmm. Well, are we supposed to? Let's look at our logbook. The reactor. Okay, on my map I can see what I need to do. Let's see, Tyrannus. Paula hears noises. The cleaner, okay. Hmm. And a treasure in the woods of Tyrannus. Well, I found what it is. It's this loud armadillo, but what do I do about it? I mean, we could kill it, but that's kind of unpleasant. <laughs> A loud armadillo. <laughs> right, let's actually, no, save. Yes. I can't do anything with it. Let's see what happens if I kill it. That wasn't very nice. Sorry, loud armadillo. You were too loud. Squeaky wheel gets the, the chop. I found what was causing the noise. Really? Yes. It's all quiet now. What was it? An armadillo living behind the house. I knew it was a vermin problem. I'm going to give Talbot a piece of my mind. Take this as a reward. That was kind of unfortunate. Hardwick. Hey, you. 
I know who you are. Oh, Dude. really? Yeah, you're that person who weighed anchor in not too long ago. I also know what you want. What, what do I want? Our crystals, of course. And if course. you want to learn magic, you're going to need them. But you're going to have to earn them. How do I earn crystals? Well, I'd say that you need a strong arm. Let me guess. I need a fucking pickaxe. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but if you're willing to take the risk, I can offer you a bet. Go on. How about a round of arm wrestling against me? If you win, I'll give you some crystals. Tell me about arm wrestling. <laughs> you sail the seas in the company of pirates. Yeah, yeah, enough said. I'll find someone who'll tell me. <laughs> if you want to challenge me, find me in a tavern at around midday. Right. Whatever, I don't really care. Tell me about yourself. I'm a fighter. I've never fighter. done anything else. First for the Inquisition, and now for the mages. I guard the camp alongside Frink, Magnus, and the others. So, if you violate the rules, I'll probably be the one who beats you up. What are the rules of the camp? Talk to Frink. He will teach you them. Frink? You'll find him at the entrance of the mine. You understand your craft. Well, you know, eventually you will meet someone who's better than you. But if you train me, that won't happen soon. <laughs> well, why not? Close <laughs> combat is my strong point. Let's see if I can still teach you something. Good job, mate. How about melee combat? What do you want to know? Let's see, what does he teach? He can teach piercing weapons, swords, and slashing weapons. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Maybe we'll come back to this. What do you sell? What is, does he sell? Okay, so he sells silk shirts. We already have one of those. Black waistcoat. That's what we already have. A blue waistcoat. Okay. Coat made of a heavy fabric provides protection against the wind and cold. Also protects it against marginally against injury. Hmm. Oh, it gives. Pl oh, oh, interesting. Interesting. Look at that. It gives plus 15 to blade proof, plus 10 to bulletproof, and plus 5 to resist magic. Huh. Studded trousers, elegant shoes, polished boots. Huh. Weird. Should we buy one of these? Eh. It probably looks dumb. Not dumb, but... Probably doesn't look like what we're the aesthetic we've been going for. Not that we've really been going for an aesthetic, I suppose. Alright, well whatever. Who are you? Ventranio? That's the guy we already talked to, right? Where in the world is my soap? Yep. That dude, that voice actor is used for quite a bit in this game, it seems. <laughs> oh, there's a a gnome. Zakia likes gold. Homie has gold. Stop fluffing, begging. <laughs> Not the moment, short, ar short arse. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, here, take five gold. Zakia wants more gold. Homie, go and get more gold. Go earn your own gold. Now, if Homie's give gold, Zakia happy. You give Zaki a gold, and Zaki a tell you something. How many gnomes live on Tyrannus? Um, five. Five? Does Zaki get more gold if he says higher number? 
No, Zaki gets nothing because he can't count. Give me my gold back. Well, okay. <laughs> Four back. He kept one. Eh, who cares? Do the Guardians even trust you, gnomes? Guardians only trust magic men. But eyes of Guardians overlook Gnu. So they not see when we do business. Right. Let's just see what he says. All I got back from you is four gold. One is still missing. But four is much more than five. And half of eight is... Forget it. Keep the coin. <laughs> I think that dude knows how to be one half endearing, one half annoying to to his own advantage. <laughs> All right. Well, I think actually, oh, there's ah, Frank. A new face in the camp. Are you the replacement for Geralt? Not that I know of. Damn. I'd hope that somebody would finally take over his post. Does that mean I have to continue dealing with this waster? What kind of a problem have you got with Geralt? <laughs> Where do I start? He can't even do the simplest tasks. We've got rules here. And if they aren't observed, we'll have big problems. So don't make such a fuss, Frink. Everyone knows you don't stick to the rules, so just leave us out of it. What rules are you talking about? Well, prick up your ears, okay? One. The word of the mages is law. Two. Crystal mining is top priority. And three. One must not flake out at one's post. All right. Understood. Ah, really? What's the first rule? The word of the Guardians is law. No, no, no. Wrong. The word of the mages. I Only hit the wrong those button. who obey the rules of the camp I hit the wrong achieve button. something. Ah. I didn't mean to do that. Oh. Well, I wasn't listening either. Do you need help? Yes. I've been waiting too long for a bag of crystals to be delivered from the camp's mine. I'm not counting on Geralt bringing them anymore. Which is why you are going to get them. I'll make it worth your while. I'll bring you your pouch of crystals. Excellent. Four filled pouches should suffice. Never forget, mining crystals has top priority. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Ah, I hit the button too quickly. I did not mean to do that. Ah. Well, I was never good at standardized testing, neither. Me neither. I, I, I was, but I often blew it. Even though I knew the stuff on, that was on the tests, I would move too quickly and I'd screw up the test. <laughs> but anyways, I think I'm going to call this episode right here. So, we're here in the mage camp. I don't know. This camp is kind of interesting. Kind of reminds me of the... I can see there's certain similarities to the Inquisition. I would have to say... Much more so than the demon hunters and the Kila and pirates. But, you know, there's obviously going to be differences, too. But, so, on that note, I want to say thank you for joining me on this episode of my Let's Play of Risen 3. Here on my channel, Idle Wisdom. And I have to apologize for killing that, you know, noisy armadillo. But, you know, that's a rather unique looking, you know, NPC in that house. And I didn't want to leave her, you know. Yes, yes. Leave her hanging with, you know, scratches outside her door. Yeah. All right. Let's take care, y'all.